it's review time once again, guys. I was going to do this one purposely in the dark because of what film I'm about to review. It's the sixth in a now long-running slasher series. So, if you haven't seen the film yet, you're going to want to click away. Some spoilers are ahead. So let me ask you guys one question. Do you like scary movies? <laughs> Scream 6! Yeah, there you go. The recent instalment in the Scream franchise re uh, released this year, actually, 2023. So the first recent film I've reviewed since the, see, since the first episode. And this film actually moves the setting from Woodsboro, California to New York. And the returning cast... Okay, there's only one legacy cast member still in this. Gail Weathers. And then returning from Scream 5... We have Sam Carpenter and her half-sister. Now, this, um... And also returning from Scream 5, now as a disgraced ex-FBI agent, we have Kirby. Now, I should actually point out that not returning... Ah, uh, David Arquette, whose character, spoilers, died in, in Scream 5. And Neve Campbell, who refused to come back due to a pay dispute. I mean, come on, love. A pay dispute, really? You are making a shit ton of money just from the first five films alone. Did you really need a bigger paycheck? <laughs> yeah, greedy bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so Ghostface Killings have started up again. This time, as I said, in New York. And... They actually do a brilliant job. At subverting our expectations here as to who the killer is or who the killers are. Yes, yeah, spoilers, guys. Again. There are three killers in this film. Three. Why am I whispering? Uh, well, for dramatic effect, you could say. Anyway. Because really, you're supposed to keep spoilers out of reviews. 
but I'm not going to spoil the ending. That's one thing I will not do. If you want to find out for yourselves how the film ends, then go and watch it. If you're fans of the franchise, you owe it to yourselves to watch this. It's actually the best film in the franchise so far. I know, I said that about Scream 5. And now I said it about Scream 6. And I said it about Scream 4 as well. But that was back in 2011. So Scream 6 is genuinely the best of the franchise so far. So, if you enjoyed this video guys, please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you have seen Scream 6, I'd like to know what your opinions were in the comments below, because I've not seen any of your reviews. I've not wanted to spoil it for myself, obviously. Um. <laughs> um. And... Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a magical time.